Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It is your boy KP here coming back at you with another ultimate map guide today We're gonna be going over Mirage. I know I've covered this before But this is gonna be an updated Mirage ultimate guide covering all smokes nades flashes and molotovs You will need to know for pugging and playing on this map Let's get right into the video Before this video begins, just wanted to say thank you for all the love on the Vertigo guide that I uploaded recently. If you're wondering where I've been, I've been streaming almost every day over at twitch.tv slash kpfps. I had college finals and honestly have just been enjoying the holidays with my family. Um, but anyways, we're going to be uploading more and more in 2020. I'm going to be trying to do two to three videos a week. Um, and yeah, hope you guys are excited for that. Anyways, let's get right into this guide. Starting from T spawn. There's a lot of smokes to throw from T spawn on Mirage. I'm just going to bang through them. There'll be timestamps in the description and as the top pinned comment on this video. All these smokes are designed for 128 tick servers, but I believe some of them should still work for matchmaking and 64 tick. Here we go. First up from the trash can in Mirage T spawn. Stand on top of the trash can, put your crosshair right to the right side of this antenna and this is just a simple left click throw everyone should know this smoke this is the standard top mid smoke if your team wants to get out top mid and avoid offers peeking from bottom con and from window depending on what spawn you get you can also throw this smoke from this corner simply place yourself in this corner of the staircase and put your crosshair on this wooden pole sticking out from the antenna and left click throw as you can see, it's going to give us the same exact smoke to help your team get out mid and avoid offers from window and bottom con. Again, everyone should know this smoke for matchmaking, ESCA, or face it. Everyone should know this smoke. Next up, one of the most important smokes as well for mid from T spawn is going to be the window smoke. Simply place yourself on the left side of this trash can. Find this spot on the door. I'm going to zoom in if you guys need to see that. And what you're going to want to do here is press your D key to move to the right and have a jump throw bind and hit your jump throw key at the exact same time. It should look something like this. D key, jump throw bind. And this will smoke off from window every single time from T spawn. It is the easiest and most simplest window smoke ever. Um, Astralis invented this. And as you can see, there's no gaps at all in this window smoke. If you don't like that lineup from the trash can, then you can also throw the window smoke from here. Simply face the door, find this door handle, move a bit to the right so you're lined up with these two squares. Turn around, stay crouched, find the left tan part of this window, place your crosshair on the iron bar. This is going to be a crouch, walk forward, jump throw, and you want to release right before you hit the plastic chair. So again, place your crosshair on the iron bar. This is crouch, walk forward, jump throw. As soon as you hit the plastic chair, it should look something like this. This is also going to do the same exact thing. This is going to smoke off window perfectly with no gaps. Um, it's a bit harder, but some people prefer this lineup over the other one from the trash can. From T spawn is a fast top connector smoke to allow you to take quick control mid and get up the catwalk. Simply place yourself in the left side of this trash can corner, crouch, place your crosshair in the top right of this windowsill. This is a crouch, walk forward, jump throw, and you want to release when your crosshair falls across this diamond. I'll zoom in if you need to see it, but it should look something like this. The smoke is going to land top connector, and again, it should have no gaps and allow you to quickly get control of catwalk in mid. Across from top connector is deep cat and from T spawn you can also smoke that as well Simply place yourself in this corner again as we threw top mid here before This time find these two antenna in the sky. They look like ladybug antenna Place your crosshair on the left tip of, of the antenna and this is just a simple standing jump throw The smoke is going to land fast on deep cat allowing you to take up mid quickly and get some connector control as you can see, completely smokes off the cat player. He can still get into ladder room, but this should allow you to get up connector fast. Finally, from T spot, I want to show off a fast A execute that not a lot of people know about. You want to stand on the left side of this trash can yet again and place your crosshair in the middle of these two windows. 
This is a standing walk jump throw and you want to release when your crosshair hits the diamond on the carpet. I'll zoom in if you need to see it, but it should look like this. This is going to smoke off stairs extremely fast from T-spawn, allowing you to get out palace with this one way. If you combo this smoke with the fast jungle smoke, which I'm going to show here, this will allow you to go out palace fast on the A bomb site. So the fast jungle smoke that will combo with that is from here. There are these four lines on the wall right off spawn. Simply come to the second line, put yourself in the middle of it, turn around, find this wooden peg sticking out from the scaffolding, and move your crosshair up to this gap in the trimming along the roof. So again, this wooden peg up to this gap, and this is going to be a run jump throw, and you want to release when you hit the peg again. It should look like that, and this is going to be the fastest jungle smoke you have ever seen on Mirage. There is a slight gap on the left side, but don't worry about that. If you're coming out fast palace with flashes, this should be fine. So again, the fast smoke should look like this, and this. And this is the fastest palace pop A execute you can do on Mirage. Getting right into A smokes, everyone should know these smokes. These are mandatory smokes if you're ever playing a Mirage game in CSGO. Most of the A smokes should work on 64 tick as well. So let's get right into it. CT, there's multiple ways to smoke CT. I'm going to show the two easiest ones that I know. First up from the iron fence outside palace. Place yourself in the middle of it. Line yourself up in the middle of it. Turn around and find this wooden peg in the sky. Simply move your crosser to the right and find this wall. Just peg to the wall. And this is going to be a jump throw. This can be done without a jump throw bind. However, a jump throw bind just makes sure it's perfect every time. And if done correctly, it should land like this with no gaps in either side of the smoke. Someone can jump up top ticket, so be aware of that. Always have someone holding your ticket jump up while you go for a plant. But this is the easiest and the best CT Mirage smoke from a outside a ramp. So that's one of the easiest ways to smoke CT. I'm also gonna show the other way I know of smoking CT. Simply place yourself in the middle of this door where there's these three lines intersect. Place yourself along the middle line, turn around and find the corner of this edge. Place your crosser there. And again, this is just a simple standing jump throw. Again, a jump throw bind is not needed, but it just makes it perfect as possible. This CT smoke lands a little deeper. It still has no gaps in it. It just allows for more vision if someone jumps up. The other smoke gives him more of a one way up here, but as you can see, this smoke leaves him clearly out in the open. Moving on, we also have the stair smoke from Mirage. Please never ever miss this smoke. It is one of the easiest smokes in all of Counter-Strike, yet somehow some people still do not know it. So for the stair smoke on Mirage, simply jump up on this ledge. Place your crosshair in the middle of this sky, just kind of right here. I'll zoom in if you need to see this. Pretty much everyone should know this already, but if you don't, just imagine a little rectangle right here and just place your crosshair on the right side in the middle of that rectangle. This is a simple left click throw, no jumps, no fancy tricks needed. And that will smoke off these stairs position for any CTs trying to hold. Now the third smoke to complete your A execute is going to be the jungle smoke. Somehow this is one of the most missed smokes in CSGO history and in pugs and games at my level somehow still people do not know this smoke. So jungle smoke. Outside A ramp you want to find these three lines along the wall. Simply come to the middle line, smack yourself right in the middle of it, turn around, find this trapezoid and all you have to do is place your crosshair at the top left of the trapezoid and left click throw. It is the easiest jungle smoke and I do not understand how some people do not know it. This one provides a gap in the right side but the left side is pretty much all blocked off. This is the best jungle smoke and the easiest to throw that I know of. Next up from the top of A ramp, I'm going to show you a cool smoke and Molotov combo for mid site and for sandwich on A. You can use this for full executes or if you're just trying to find a pick or if you know a enemy CT is in sandwich and he's stuck. Simply come along this wall, place yourself along this line, 
find this trapezoid and move your crosshair up to the height of this wooden peg. This is going to smoke off mid sight with a simple left click throw. Then move your crosshair and find this black dot along the roof and left click throw a molotov. That'll molotov sandwich. So enemy CTs hiding in sandwich will be flushed out and the middle of sight will also be smoked allowing you to get out without being seen from CT. Finally from outside a ramp I've got two cool smokes to show you guys that not a lot of people know about. From this corner where you throw the stair smoke, just simply drop down and find yourself in this corner. Find this antenna along in the sky and place your crosshair in the middle of the antenna above the two lines horizontal. I'll zoom in if you need to see this. This is going to be a jump throw and you need a jump throw bind with this smoke. This is going to smoke off top connector just from outside a ramp. And if you want to leave the A site open, this is going to allow you to get out and fight jungle and fight stairs without getting shot from catwalk. To go along with the top connector smoke, the final smoke outside a ramp is going to be a deep jungle smoke from these wooden planks. Put yourself in this corner of the wooden planks and find this chimney in the sky and place your crosshair on the left corner of it. I'll zoom in if you need to see that. And again, this is just a simple standing jump throw. That's going to smoke off deep jungle, and if you combo that with the top connector smoke I just showed, this is perfect for a deep A execute or for just taking any aggro fights and gaining control of stairs. Switching off smokes for a second, I have a very cool trick to flush a player out from under balk, even if you are smoked off palace. We all know you can land an under balk molly from here, however if the enemy CT smoke you off, this becomes way harder. To fix that, I have a lineup for you. From the middle pillar of palace, place yourself in the middle of this line. This is going to be a run throw and you want to release when this line leaves your screen. Place your crosshair in the top left corner of this curved wall and again run throw and when this line leaves your screen that is when you release. So I'll show it right now, I'm not going to throw the Molotov, I'll show it right now. Run, release, that's when you would release, when this line leaves your screen. So I'll show it right here in full force. Top left corner of this curved wall, run, release. And that's going to land under Balk, flushing out that player every single time, even if you are smoked off. So as you can see, smoked off does not matter because the lineup still works. This is great for executes if you are the palace player and your teammates are coming out a ramp. However, if you're smoked off, obviously it becomes harder to help them. So this is a great trick for that. Finally, for the A site, I wanted to go over some quick utility you can throw if you ever find yourself in a tough situation and you're stuck Tetris. First up from this first corner of the box, place yourself in this corner and put your crosshair in the sky in the middle of this wooden peg and the wall. Simply left click throw and that's going to smoke off deep jungle. Also from Tetris, you can jump up one, and in this corner of this box, you can place your crosshair on this circle along the wall, and jump throw. That's going to smoke off stairs. Um, that smoke was made famous by a European player during a gamer's finale on live television. And finally, dropping back into the first corner, uh, you can molly off ticket booth with a molotov if you place your crosshair in this triangle on the bottom left corner and jump throw. That's going to molotov the left side of ticket for any enemy opper and it's going to force them out of position. Heading over to the B bomb site, I have some awesome fast B smokes from outside TV room that Ents created. These smokes have actually been used at the pro level and won numerous rounds. I've actually used these in official matches and they are amazing at winning rounds for fast B rushes or for selling fakes. First up for the get right smoke or the right side arches, you want to place yourself on the right side of this wooden peg. Find this line along the wall and follow it all the way up to the very tip top. Put your crosshair on the top. I'll zoom in if you need to see that. And this is simply a jump throw. That's going to smoke off the right side arches on the B-bomb site very fast from all the way outside TV room. 
To go along with that smoke, you need a teammate to throw this one for the left side arches. Simply find yourself in the opposite corner of the wooden peg. And along the wall, there are these paint splotches. The best way I can describe this is find this tit, this tiny little dot sticking out from the paint splotches. It should be here. I'll zoom in if you need to see that. I just call it a tit. And this is again, a, just a standard jump throw. This is gonna smoke off the left side arches extremely fast from outside TV room. And if you combine this with the other smoke, you should be able to hit the B-bomb site in lightning speed. Next from B-apps themselves, there's a few smokes you need to know here for B-site hits. First up is the market window smoke. Find yourself in this corner along the paper wall. Crouch and put your crosser in the very tip top corner of this building. It's pretty easy to find. This is a crouch jump throw. You do not need a jump throw bind, but of course that makes it easier. If done correctly, it should land in or on the window, smoking off market window perfectly. Personally, I prefer the one that lands on the window because then if enemy CTs jump through it, you can see their legs very easily and pick up free frags. Next up is a market door smoke and you want to make sure to line up along this piece of paper so that you do not block your teammate who is smoking off market window. Find this piece of paper and line up where they intersect. Turn around and find this wooden beam that connects to the roof. Move your crosshair a bit to the right when you reach the bottom. And this is a simple standing jump throw. Again, a jump throw bind is not needed. It just makes it perfect and it makes things easier. Jump throw and this smoke should land perfectly in the doorway and also allows vision if enemy CTs decide to push through it. And finally for B-Site, I'm just gonna show the arch smokes again, but this time just from inside apps themselves. For left side arches, you wanna line up along this third wooden peg and find the tip of this lantern sticking out, place your crosshair a little bit above it and jump throw. This one you do need a jump throw bind for or else it will not land. And this will smoke the left side arches just from B apartments instead of outside TV room. Going along with that is the right side arch smoke, and that's just going to be from the second wooden peg. Put yourself in the middle of it, find this line sticking out from the building, and move your crosser to the right of it. This is a simple left click throw, and that's going to smoke off the right side arches. I don't like this one as much because I think sometimes when it bounces imperfectly, you can get gaps in the smoke. However, most of the time with practice, this smoke should land pretty good this just came into my mind as a bonus smoke from b apartments uh, this is for top connector if you want to help out your teammates in mid simply find yourself in the corner of these pipes and this wall as you can see there's a corner i get stuck in right there turn around and you will see this dot along the wooden beams put your crosshair on the metal above the dot and jump throw You'll see me throwing this smoke a lot as I normally head towards B apps on T side Mirage. And whenever my teammates ask for a top connector smoke, or if I know they need help in mid, I'll tell them I smoked off top connector. It's such an easy smoke to throw from here. And it really, really does help out your teammates in mid if they're trying to go up cat or if they're just trying to take control of the map. Finally, for T-Side Mirage, I'm going to go over smokes from behind top mid boxes. A lot of people seem to forget these smokes, but these smokes are very, very crucial for progressing in the round and for getting yourself out of tough situations. First up, for a window smoke, um, I do not line up anywhere specific along the wall behind me. All I do is make sure I'm somewhere in the middle of these wooden pegs and this antenna. As you can see, right about there, behind this wheel of this this wooden cart is about the middle. Put your crosshair on the bottom of the antenna and you want to run and release before you slip off the ledge. It should look something like this and that'll smoke window every single time perfectly and very very fast. As you can see there's no there's no gaps in this and it lands very very quickly. You can also do the same exact lineup with a Molotov as you can see I'm going to do it again. And instead of smoking window, that'll Molotov window. So anyone stuck right side or any annoying oppers, you can simply molly them out instead of uh, wasting a smoke on it. Now to smoke off cat from behind mid boxes, simply find yourself in this corner of the wooden cart and this box. There's a faint line right here on this piece of paper that sticks out. 
You want to go to the bottom of the line and move your crosshair to the right just a bit. Left click throw. And this will smoke off deep cat just like we did from T spawn. However, this time from the top mid boxes. In this version, there's a tiny gap that enemy CTs can see through. However, for the most part, this should cover you if you want to get up connector. Finally, I'm going to show you a top connector smoke from top mid boxes. Find yourself in the corner of this left box and this wooden cart. And the best way I could describe this smoke is by resolution and view model. I play on 4.3, 1280 by 960 stretched, and my view model is simply the classic view model. The best way to line up this smoke is by covering this antenna with the top part of your smoke grenade. It should look something like this. As you can see, this antenna is completely covered by my smoke grenade, and that's how I know where to throw. It's simply a left click throw, and that'll smoke off top con, allowing quick control from top mid boxes of top connector. If you combo that smoke with this flash right here, find this wooden peg on the wood cart and simply left click throw a flash. Any teammate coming from bottom mid slope or from underpass will be able to fight connector very easily. As you can see, that flash pops right here and that'll destroy any CT holding in connector. It's a perfect pop flash to take fast control of connector. So for example, if your teammates coming from under and you are top mid boxes, throw the smoke, throw the flash, and they can peak connector and fight it perfectly fine. Switching over to CT side, there's not as much stuff to show. However, there is some very neat utility that you can throw that might win you rounds or allow you free kills on CT side Mirage. Getting right into it from CT spawn, there's three smokes that you can throw from this corner. First up for palace, this is, for example, if you're rotating from B um, and your A side player needs a palace resmoke, come into this corner, come to the last peg along this wall, put your crosshair on the peg and jump throw with a jump throw bind. That's gonna perfectly resmoke palace, allowing your A side player to chill for a bit, knowing his palace is smoke. Again, from this corner, if you spawn close to it on CT Mirage, you can actually fast smoke a ramp from this corner these two pegs on the wall simply place your crosshair in the middle and all the way down to the line of the top of the doorway this is going to be a crouched jump throw and this will smoke off a ramp the fastest way possible finally from ct spawn one of the most important smokes in our current meta is the astralis smoke if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show a clip on screen right now of Astralis using this smoke in pro matches. Basically, it's a mid-aggression smoke. It allows you to go aggro as CTs in mid and take map control. They pretty much invented it, and they are the first team that started using it to their advantage in pro matches. A lot of people use it nowadays for mid pushes or simply for fakes. It's from the same corner. Put your crosshair on the corner of this building. And this is a hard smoke. It's a run into a walk throw, into a jump throw, and you want to release when your crosshair hits these little wooden pegs sticking out from the roof. I'll show it and I'll zoom in if you need to see it. This one takes some practice, but it should look like this. Run, walk, jump throw. And if done correctly, it'll land in the exact same spot that Astralis throws their smoke. As you can see, it is the mid-aggression smoke with the gap in the back. And what they do to cover that gap in the back is they run down connector or run out top mid window and they molly behind it. It is the exact same play that Astralis does and this is the mid aggression smoke or the Astralis smoke. From outside market on CT there's an awesome smoke you can throw for deep kitchen in B apartments. Simply find yourself in this corner, place your crosshair on the last wooden peg of this roof and jump throw. This one requires a jump throw bind. It will not land perfectly without a jump throw bind. This smoke will land in deep kitchen, blocking off terrorists before they can get to this point. If you combo this smoke with a deep apartment Molotov from here, this is something I do almost every round on CT Mirage to take control of kitchen quickly. This Molotov forces any enemy T that decides to run through the smoke into this corner and as a CT player you can jump up van and kill him in this corner. 
Next, I want to show some retake utility for the A bomb site on Mirage if you're a CT and the bomb is planted on A and you know there's a player in A ramp or a player at Tetris, those can be very hard positions to clear out. However, with this retake utility, it could make things a whole lot easier. Simply find yourself in this corner of jungle, make sure you have a teammate or at least you know that this area is clear so you do not get shot. Place your crosshair along this line of this brick wall. This is going to be a left click throw with the smoke. smoke. Then pull out a Molotov and do the same left click throw. Fire. This at the same time smokes off a ramp and also Molotovs the Tetris position, forcing any enemy T's playing the post plant out and also forcing any T's hiding in the A ramp to swing if you tap the bomb defuse. Also on CT side Mirage, if you are the connector player, this is something that a lot of people know about. However, at the lower ranks, you might still be able to get away with it. This simple one way smoke for any connector players will allow you to get free kills for anyone that comes bottom mid or from underpass. As you're running up connector, just simply right hand a smoke into this position. And as you can see, you get a nice little one way over the top of the uh, potted flowers, allowing you to get any free kills under window, underpass, or maybe even bottom mid if they come close enough. Again, at my rank, it doesn't really work too well, but for those at lower ranks, this smoke is very, very OP. The last thing I wanted to show in this video is a very cool pop flash to get into jungle if you're rotating from B to A. We all know that T's went in jungle, love to hold this rat hole position from this or this angle, and obviously it's very hard to clear that coming from the hole. You're very likely to die while going through here when rotating, so to improve your odds of surviving, I came up with a simple pop flash from this position. Place yourself in this corner, turn around, and find this outline of the brick paint along the wall. Place your crosshair around here, and run throw. As you can see, the pop flash will go through the hole in murder and pop perfectly for anyone holding this position. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this ultimate mirage guide updated, please leave a like and please hit that subscribe button. We are so, so close to 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, which would be absolutely insane to start off the new year. Also, let me know what your favorite piece of utility was for this Mirage video. If I missed anything, please comment down below and I will try and help you out. Anyways, that's it from KP. I'll see you in the next video and hope you guys enjoy. Peace!